uh, we we've, we've all heard of uh, you know animation mentor and right now you know sitting with you guys who gone through the whole you know learned through the animation mentor course uh, I, you know we want to know from animationexpress.com side how was the experience like uh, what was the focus on and i'd like you to introduce yourselves first okay. i'm claudia i'm currently in class 4 at animation mentor um, the focus is primarily on character animation so it's really you don't have to worry about the rigs you get the rigs you don't really have to worry about modeling stuff or anything, so we can really focus on the animation itself. Um, and I think it's it's a great place to be and to learn, because it's, um, the way uh, it is set up, it's very similar to a studio environment. You get your tasks, you have a mentor who is like a director, mm -hmm. so it's really great. Hi, Ambika. Hello, my name is Ambika. And I passed out last year, uh -huh. and it's been a great experience learning under Animation Mentor. Definitely the best, because we get to learn uh, from people who are actually working in the industry. So it's been a great experience for me. Hi, I'm Jessica. I graduated in 2008, I believe, a couple years back. And uh, it was a great experience. I think I learned uh, quite a lot about animation and learned how much I don't know already and how much I need to improve. Okay. And uh, focused on kind of character animation and it kind mm. of opens up doors so as an animator you can do what you want afterwards and push yourself further. Hi, my name is Frank and actually everything has been already told about Animation Mentor but for me pers personally it was a, a great place this way that I met so many great people from all over the world that inspired me artistically as well as they keep kept me pushing so that I had the impression that I'm always in contact with somebody who's right. better than me and, 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 and it's, it's it was always good. pushing the bar higher I'm sorry pushing the bar higher yeah absolutely absolutely so and on the other hand I mean you get in contact with the big guys from the big studios and right. this, uh, this is amazing because when you get a feedback from someone who's working for Disney or from DreamWorks that and this, this is great it's really great so right. I love it it's definitely worth every cent I am, I'm Chris from Vienna and I totally agree with everything that's been said already I think it's one of one of the very best schools to go to if you wanna if you're really interested in character animation and it's only character animation it's nothing else it's not it's not design it's not modeling it's not rigging not rigging. it's character animation it's really movement okay. performance acting and um, yeah and it's very competitive but in a good way in a very good way it's very positive a uh, very positive feeling of the whole thing it's very it's, so I think you can say it feels a bit like family, really. Mm -hmm. Even though it's online and, mm -hmm. and which which people would think it's very impersonal. Yeah, uh, because you guys seem to bond pretty well and yeah. okay, considering the fact that all of you have studied separately. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it's been nice because we whenever we meet mm -hmm. someone with an animation mentor teacher that's enough introduction and we can just like that immediately go on. And you all call yourself the AMRs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so so Jessica, I'm very interested to know about your online project because, firstly, the theme here, I guess, is online. You'll have learned character animation with the best in the world online. I mean, that's disproving a lot of myth yes. about online sure. education. And now you're doing online collaboration. I am. I'm doing an online project. Um, it started out as something I wanted to do uh, just as a personal project while I was working, and um, slowly I just kind of realized that. If you put yourself out there, if you put yourself out there via networking, you can find people who are, want to, to learn more and work together. So, you know, a, a director alone can't make a movie and a character designer alone can't make a movie, but you put them together and suddenly they're one step closer to producing something interesting. And that's how it started out. Um, now I have a dedicated network for the project. So are you the writer? Yes. Writer. And I believe you're the animate. I mean, well, I'm not actually animating that much, huh? Because I'm spending directing so much time the project, project managing and directing the animation. So. How many people are you working? With? Um, right now, the registered to the project are about 106 people, and working on the project are around 40. So, um, 
different animators working on different shots okay. uh, from all over the world. 100 people all over the world have registered yes. with you online that they will they work with their you. Interest, yeah. Well, not necessarily that they are available to work today, but that they're interested in following or they're interested in giving so feedback. How do you break up your shots to be able to divide the work? Um, you analyze the animation people have done in the past. You ask for examples of what they've done. You see what their strengths and weaknesses are. Then you have to go and talk with them about the shot, find out if they're interested in doing a shot of a certain type or another type, because you want to be able to have people learn what they want to learn while doing a shot and have what they want for their demo reel afterwards. And uh, then you assign the shots and you work together. So what about consistency of performance? What about staying with your character all the time well, and one person doing the whole character? Yeah, that's, character? that's my job, unfortunately. I have to really be tough on people. Do you have action. online conferences where you have what is the version of a daily? Uh, I have. I do give um, video feedback. Um, where no, but to everyone, at, uh, I mean... Yeah. Not all, not everyone has access to them. But if um, more than one animation, one, more than one mm. animator is working on the same character, mm. I do have them look at each other's work and tell each of them what is working well with the other person's shot, what's not working, and uh, we develop the characters all together almost. Because I have the idea in my head, but as the animators push the characters further and forwards and forwards, because the two shots are moving together at the same time, you can go back and forth and make changes to make it consistent. Wow. And people tend to be very good at working together, um, That's honestly. Nice. Yeah, have you guys good. ever, while in your animation mentor course, have you ever felt that it would have been better if you were uh, in a physical brick and mortar structure? I actually think it's a lot better to have it online because it uh, sort of um, gets rid of the whole personality thing. You right. are uh, your animation. You are what you what you upload at the end of the week. That's all. That's all that matters. It's your work, and it's not your personality. If you are a nice person, or if you are uh, beautiful or ugly, or whatever, or if you dress well or not, it's all about your work. It's all about and the work. That's what I think makes it so much better than a physical school because people tend to hide behind their personalities. And. Is it yeah. common amongst all of you that all of you like acting as well because you all are all into character animation? I think you have to like acting because animation is all about acting and personality. 